uh, let's dwell a bit on the isolate isolate to uh, in order to study this uh, the roof on this um, this building. This building was originally drawn with an extruded roof, uh, but I myself, uh, before I started to study this LECO program, I actually did this drawing without actually any thought to LECO. So I had uh, drawn uh, rafters in, into the building, and you can see these rafters here, and I've drawn a, drawn a gable, and I actually did the, uh, the roof uh, surface as a plywood plate, uh, cladded on top with uh, bituminous uh, felt. And there's insulation in there. The insulation hasn't been colored yellow or anything. This kind of shows you that you need to have put some thought into the drawing if you're working with Vico in mind, because in, this, in that way, by drawing everything as an object, as it would be placed in the building, then you will be able to identify each object and then... Uh, write up the objects here and then draw their, uh, draw their quantities into uh, the calculation in the cost planner more accurately. So um, if I wanted to, to kind of dwell on this uh, roof a little bit and try and isolate the different items, then, uh, for example, I could isolate all the rafters. I could click on sparefe, which is the Danish word for rafter, and right-click and then uh, isolate. Then you have the rafters here. And uh, this gives you a, a good idea of the rafters. Uh, and then you can you can kind of uh, do stuff in chronological order, I guess, but uh, uh, everything is not drawn here, so it can be put in in, in chronological order, which uh, kind of uh, tells you that you have to be careful of that uh, when you're actually doing uh, your uh, model with uh, a view to using it in, in the VECO system here. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I've marked the, the rafter here. I'm going to hold down the control key on my keypad and... Uh, and I'm going to find the, the top uh, uh, plank of, 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 that's joining all the rafters together. And uh, if I click on there, I have selected both um, the rafter here and also the, t uh, the top plank. So if I uh, release my control and right-click and isolate, and you can see I've got the top plank here on top as well as just the, uh, if I just zoom in on here, um, you can see the top plank there. And uh, in this way, I can, I can continue to hold the, the control key and keep adding stuff on just to, to, to analyze my, uh, my um, model. Now I've, I've got three items, uh, the rafter plus these two items. I release my control key and I isolate again. And uh, I, can now, I can now see a, a further development here where I have got uh, the plate on top of uh, the... Let me, can, let me just see if I can just zoom in on this. Uh, I can see the plate on top there. Maybe perhaps I could just put in a, um, a um, uh, section box. And I can click on the section box here, perhaps, uh, to... to to uh, and then push it in, and then I can orbit it a little bit and have a look uh, in detail. Let's orbit slightly around this area here and zoom in. And here you can see the rafter itself. I just press, press escape here. The rafter itself, the uh, the plank uh, joining the rafters, and a, and a plate on top of that, and so on. And in this way, I could keep uh, keep uh, adding subjects by holding the control key. Uh, choosing the subjects, right-clicking, and isolating. Uh, and um, and uh, uh, more things will appear. There's something that's appeared here, I, I can see. Uh, if I can just get rid of this, um, this um, section box by clicking on it here, I can see uh, the, uh, some, of the, some of the stuff in here. I can't actually just pull the section box out before I... Uh, Get rid of it like this, and then get rid of the section box. You see, further things have uh, have appeared, like so, some insulation here, and uh, I've got some cross insulation, which is near the the ceiling. I can isolate that, and you can see the cross insulation here too. Um, and we just uh, orbit it a little bit. Um, we will be able to see a little bit more of that. 
this insulation should in fact be yellow in color, but uh, I, I I didn't do that in the in the model when I before I sent it to to um, to Vito, so that's why it's still uh, black here. And I can always uh, put in the game plank too. Uh, I think the game plank is this. So now I've chosen several things: right click, isolate. And this is the gang plank there, and and so on and so forth. And uh, we've also got the plates of the of the roof on here. So in this way, you can uh, you can uh, actually go in and you can uh, study your 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 model. And at the same time, once you've identified the different items, you can begin to to put the items in here. Like for example, here, if I wanted to draw uh, to start the roof structure, I would write roof uh, structure here as the the main heading. And then I would put in uh, enter and uh, uh, put in the next one, which would be, for example, the uh, rafters, truss rafters, and, and and so on and so forth. And I'll build up my roof like this. Now, the truss rafters are part of the roof structure. So I'd mark this here as it is now and indent it to the right. So this becomes part of the roof structure. And uh, in, well, once I've... Uh, I've, I've got the, the trusses in there. I can actually go in and do the trusses now because I can then pull in the, the trusses uh, uh, in, into my calculation. I've got them down here. So I've marked them up now. I don't have to isolate them actually to pull them in. I just mark them up and I choose the box adjacent to where I've marked. And I draw, um, let me just mark it once again, pull my, um, my um, key down. Mark, hold the key down here and drag it in. And for some reason, I'm not, not able to drag it in. Why is that? That's uh, because I haven't extended it. Because um, here we can see that the actual count is down here. It's not up here. I need to extend that. So I'm going to click there. It says 14 pieces, 14 uh, units. And now if I pull this in, I can drop it at the rafters there. And you can see I've got 14 rafters in there, 14 rafters there, pulled into my calculation. Now it's a question of going in and actually uh, putting a price for mounting each rafter in. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to put a price here because I have no idea how, long it's, uh, how much it costs to, to mark a, put a rafter up. But let's put in a price of, let's say, um, 700 kroner per rafter. Uh, so that gives me a total of 9,000 here. It's a, probably a ridiculous price, but that's not the important thing right now. And in fact, this is how we uh, analyze the roof uh, by simply marking up, holding the control key, and isolating, and then uh, getting our picture so we can analyze the roof before we do our calculations. That ends this video.